I just want to see a face shot of me with a winning hand. <laughs> Next game. Cool. This does have the feeling of one of those games where it's not going to cool. take too long to lose Pass. a player. Uh, it's got a lot of back down in these guys. Yeah, but they played like little schoolgirls on the flop, so <laughs> I'm very disappointed. Oh. Now, you see Jess Bailey it. limp in with a weak oh, ace again. This is a big mistake. He needs yeah, to right. learn that you can't play like this on this level. Yeah, he's 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 limped in behind Ashley Hales as well. Ashley's I've got, got nice cards. I see pretty a big ace, but <laughs> this is a five-way pot. Only David Smith hanging his head in shame for not being in. <coughs> uh, interestingly Check. enough, uh, the flush draw of Ashley Hale's the best hand. Six thousand. Nobody's got a. F is that is that a? Um, That's the Hale's. He's got the flush Pass. draw and and uh, two overs. So I think Pass. this is a great bet once again. It's not s such a big chance that anybody Pass. has hit this flop. So this is how you should play big draws on the flop. You bet it and you take it. You don't check it, check it, check it. Pass. And uh, I mean Ashley Hale's is. If I guess if he got any action, he would have reckoned there was a five out there. But uh, he's taken this pot down and uh, yeah, it was a six or a five, I didn't even need to hit his flush. It was a five. I thought I was beaten anyway. Hales is a lovely guy, but his nickname, the Bear, is well deserved. He lets it all hang out, and not one of those guys where you want to play dead. If you see him run, you like that pot? <laughs> Beyond all the hands that Kalmar has made. Uh, Think about the other oh, five yeah. guys. Uh, scary, yeah. Really, none of them has made anything. They're just trying to. They're all having to graft, aren't they? Yeah. Pass. Maybe it's too early for them. Pass. <laughs> Race to six thousand total. Here comes Howard, Ace Five. Call. And uh, quick call by Jonathan Scally. Now, Tim Flanders has a decision here. It's time. Yeah, it's time to re-raise. Uh, a raise from Howard Plant doesn't mean anything, and you know, John showed weakness by just calling. Oh, I don't know what what is this? Pass. This is ridiculous. Leave is, me uh, with him. Do you think Tim Flanders was thinking? Uh, well, against a raise and a call, I don't mind folding Ace Queen, but you need to re read the situation. It was Plant raising from the cutoff. Jack. Ace Queen of Clubs looks like Jack. the absolute nuts right now. And uh, seven thousand. And and uh, oh. Ned Flanch would have ace queen with the two clubs. Wow, oh, wow. Kalmar's taking that with a bet on the flop and the top pair with the king. And uh, I think Tim Flanders is probably. Look at his face. Why yeah. did I fold ace queen of clubs? He, he looks physically. Sure hand doesn't go through to the edit. He looks physically ill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yes, I know. And he feels physically ill. He, he knew. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, is that just sort of bad luck, or no? That was bad play. If you play the World Series, you can fold ace queen. But this is a one-table satellite with a semi-fast structure. You need to play play those ace Tim queens. Tim. Once used to play poker. Pass. So says. Pass. It's uh, it's amazing Race though because. Uh, total. It does seem like everything is going Calmer's way, and here comes Flanders. He's slow playing oh, the kings. Pass. Oh, I would never do that against a guy who flops four of a kind like oh. Kalmar. <laughs> this could mean trouble for Flanders. Well, it's allowed Jazz Bailey to come in as well. This is three ways. Yeah. Scally uh, okay. out <laughs> early. <laughs> Flanders just begging for trouble now. Well, looks like he bailed out. It's a very good flop. Three kings for Tim. Check, and check. Scally's done well not to bet there. 10,000. It's correct for Flanders to bet here because it's a dangerous flop with a flush draw and straight draw and he can easily get check raised even though he got top set, so I like the bet. As it is, that bet is going to win the pot. He's not to know that uh, Kalmer was raising with the 7-4. Pass. Pass. Still a dangerous flop one. <coughs> kings. Kings. In my hand. Oh, yeah. Three kings. Yeah. <laughs> Ten jack, two spades. He's not a real poker player. player. He's telling the truth. It'll nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be the first time in the tournament that we've had that happen. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this table ain't big enough for the six of them. 15 hands and sooner or later someone's going to fall off the trolley car. And I saw the four deuce so diamonds oh. I just knew the plant was going to play that hand. Do, do you think uh, Howard's a little frustrated at this oh. early stage? Pass. 
Or is he just... Is yeah, he lost right? half of the chips, <laughs> of course he's frustrated. <laughs> Raised to I don't think he's said it, it depends five. on how many chips he's got. He just he likes Pass. this four of diamonds, so he plays it. Cool. And, uh, Jez Bailey has raised to cool. seven thousand with the four nine offsuit. It's a similar move to the one Tim Flanders pulled, but uh, whereas Tim Flanders raised it up about twelve Pass. or fourteen thousand, Jez has made a raise so small that he's got a lot of action. Yeah, so instead of being a good move it's a Donald Duck move. It's really just made the pot big. Without position, it's a worthless play. And uh, how much is he going to have to bet to win it right now? Check. Check. Yeah. Not so much check. as nobody's got anything, but he checks. Wow. Makes no sense. Seven pairs the board. Can it's Bailey steal it here? It's up for grabs. Whoever bets wins. Who's got the balls? 10,000. I like this bet. No, everybody checked around. Uh, nobody has a seven, so he can represent something and he can win the pot here. Cool. Well, Cameron's just called here. What what kind of hand is he putting Jez Bailey on right now? I don't know. That king changes nothing. Jez Bailey has to bet big here. He's got a nine high. There's forty-five thousand out there. Go for it. This is time. This is the time to go for it. Check. No, he gave up. Jack, okay, oh, so calma, he's just, he also giving up, but he's going <laughs> to get the pot anyway. He's just walking on water right now. <laughs> Jonathan Calmer just shook his head said, so that's what I put you on, the 9-4. <laughs> Don't try to bluff me, son. Why didn't I bet? That's what he's thinking right now. Oh. Why didn't I bet? It was a pretty good call on the turn by Calmer, wasn't it? Was yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely should have, <laughs> definitely should have called. Calmer up to 233,000 now. He's Look at this. He's played 80% of the hands. And uh, I think he's won 80% of them. Coin party. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think 100% on the flop. Except No, not. Because he, he folded 4-7 four, four against top set. Yeah, he, he, he may have won all but one that he played. Not for making the <laughs> <He's> <laughs> This game is easy sometimes, isn't yep. it? Pass. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we've seen it twice already, Nine Kenna. Four. I feel like Pass. that one of the ways this game has changed is is uh, when people oh. limp, the small blind, uh, people raising out of the small blind, it oh. never used to happen a couple of years ago. Nice. It's a, it's trends in poker, and that's the trend now. And back in the days when I played, you know, a check race on the turn, that was the mortal nuts. Now it's always a bluff. Couple limps here, three-way action. Check. And uh, Howard Plant, who's in the big blind right now, 6, has flopped middle pair and a middle pin. Pass. Cool. <laughs> you know, it looked like Howard was moving his yeah. chips to go, and it would cool. have been a great move. That would, that would have been the move to, to make. He's playing very uh, passive. I don't understand. I don't recognize him. Maybe this is an uh, imposter. 6,000 and cold. Okay. So you know, Howard can Check. move the chips. Oh, he, he's tough, the bear. He's going to make another bet. 10,000. I'll tell you, one thing I love about Ashley is he does not back down. I mean, you, you do not find him checking it on the river. The problem with this bet, it's uh, there's a lot of drawing hands there, and uh, they get almost the proper odds to call here, so it's uh, he should have bet more, maybe like 15,000 instead of 10. Um, the way Howard is... Looking right now, it's I, it, he doesn't believe he has the best hand. No, he looks like he's gonna mm -hmm. fold, but oh. he wants to call. Oh, the, the, the move all in would be so strong right now. Although he, he has waited quite a long time now, called. and he's called. And uh, it seems like the only question here, if they both miss, which they're likely to, is will Hales go for it on the river? Probably not. Takes a lot of big uh, bear claws to do that. Hales bluffing, needing a jack to win. Or a king. No, that's Howard's card. <laughs> jack. jack. Okay, gentlemen. He checked? <coughs> well, we'll never find out what Ashley was planning on the river. Yeah, Howard plan has got there. And uh, this kind of feel like maybe what uh, Howard was <coughs> waiting for to, to get back in the game. He just